Hi, it's Dolia from uh, Honest Europe and this is uh, my second video of the series where I'm going to talk about Rico Honesty and different key parts of the practice. Uh, last time I talked about being in the body and what does that mean and how that looks like. And today, um, surprisingly, the topic is telling the truth and being honest um, as implied that's kind of a key thing in radical honesty so what does that mean well basically it has two two components two sides to it uh, one is not to lie so basically give wrong information uh, for example i'm 47 years old and if i say i'm 42 or 38 that would be lying um, so not giving uh, false information. And then the second part that is even more important is not withholding important information. And that can sound a bit tricky, so I want to talk a bit about that. So not withholding important information means that if you feel nervous, scared, worried, angry, you worry about the other person's reaction or something, you share that too. Or when you tell a story, you don't leave the parts out that make you maybe look worse or not quite as good as the other parts of the story, but give the, the full full picture. And part of that um, not withholding important information for me in that category is also things like making things smaller or making them bigger. Like, you know, the traditional fish stories. I got this as a fish and then it was this and this and this. Like, exaggerating in order to make things more juicy or having a habit of exaggerating things rather than just telling how it is, how it is true to you. Um, and people ask, so how would I know what is important information? And my answer to that is um, just follow what happens in your body, follow what happens in your thoughts. So if something is ongoingly in your thoughts, then most likely that is important information that is beneficial for you to share rather than withhold and keep it to yourself. Um, and then, of course, why? Why to tell the truth? Uh, it can be tricky and people might feel hurt or upset or angry or something like that. Um, well, our theory is that being honest and open, transparent and vulnerable um, can create a very different kind of connection than staying in the niceties level and avoiding anything particularly uh, potentially, not particularly potentially triggering or worrisome or uh, painful. So the motivation of not withholding important information is to create connection, not have unsaid things between myself and another person. So for me, the motivation is super important and I think it's very beneficial to put it there and say, hey, I'm saying this as I don't want to withhold from you. I want to feel connected to you. Um, you're important to me. I notice I've been avoiding talking about this or this is troubling me from the past or whatever it is. So put also the motivation out there and make yourself vulnerable. So it's not just like vomiting some truth into some other person and then running away or rather saying, what is in your mind and staying, having the eye contact, staying in the eye contact with the other person and also hearing what's arising in them and what they want to share. Any questions, any thoughts? Let us know in the chat or try it out, come to your workshop. So in our website honestyeurope.com you find all the workshops throughout Europe where you can practice this stuff. And yeah, read Brad Blanton's book Rack Honesty or Practicing Rack Honesty, there you get also uh, good tips and great insights about the practice. You're welcome to the tribe of honest people, the truth tellers. Ciao!